situation of just making sure. Okay, back in Ottawa, here's Ron McLean. Ron? Thanks, you Elliot. Sure? I can Don, Don went to great trouble to make this happen. I thought it was seniority, that's all. <laughs> right there. Yeah, right in Don's chair, so if you get a little yeah, squirrely, sure you'll know what happened there. <laughs> they are watching. Well, Huge there's fans. a guy that's uh, proud of punching your whole season, as him. Obviously, Don's been a big backer for his life. Well, so I'll give you a chance to say uh, thanks to Grapes for all the support and the love over the years. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, especially when things weren't going too well. You know, you were the guy that picked me up out of the gutter. And, you know, believe it or not, I was, you know, things weren't going too well for, for a long time there. And, um, you know, Grapes had my back from day one. And I didn't want to let him down. That's, you know, it's a lovely feeling you have, and uh, your parents knew, uh, your teachers knew in London that that was kind of, you had the spit, you had uh, self-confidence, uh, and you didn't take losing lightly, so congrats is the simplest way to say Thank it. You. Tonight was just uh, amazing to watch you and Joffrey Lupo. What's, uh, what's the story on the chemistry that you two seem to enjoy? I, I really don't know, to be honest. I mean, Loops is a great player. He, he honestly makes it uh, so easy to play with. Um, you know, and, and I haven't really played with a, a player, with, you know, with his caliber. So, I um, mean, I've said this from day one. He makes it so much easier on his wingers and, and centermen. Um, you know, we were able to pot a few tonight. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, Fraser McLaren. Here we got the guys that will back him up right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Colton Moore and Fraser yeah. McLaren. My boys. My yeah. boys. And, uh, yeah, Fraser on D2. The, I mean, the, the three of you. And when Cody Franson, when there was four guys out there, and poor Otto was trying to get even a look at James Reimer, there wasn't a chance that was going to happen. Here's another guy. You, you're big fans of Grapes. Better and uh, when, when he was dropping uh, the puck there. You better believe it. When Reimer says when these two guys are on, with Fraser, there's a different feeling out there. You guys, you're like you're like Gretzky. You, you know, if anybody touches you, you're going to be protected. Right? Exactly, exactly. But he can hit too, huh, Colton? Uh, Nazem Kadri. That's one of the oh, most yeah. amazing things that shift <laughs> against New Jersey. Hard. Three, three really. Who taught you to hit? Like, cause yeah, I know you were good at volleyball and yeah, basketball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, my old man's a pretty, uh, pretty gritty guy too. He always wanted me to. Um, play kind of both aspects of the game and you know I always grew up sometimes when the offense isn't there I sometimes use uh, you know the physical play to kind of try and get yourself in the game I know that's what these two do so um, you know it works. Fraser tell us about uh, the Leafs magic this season the uh, you're getting a lot of the credit but uh, what are some of the things that impress you about? Uh... Yeah I think it's just uh, everyone kind of buying into what Randy's selling you know um, you know tune in with all the white noise tuning out with everything around us and just you know kind of Hard hat hockey, you know, try to work out other teams and, you know, it's paying off. Well, you really come back from last year and uh, we met in the hallway, remember, and you said, I'll yeah. be back. Remember, tell us that right? And uh, I just uh, went down there and worked hard and uh, I, I told Don, I said, I'm going to be back up here. And, you know, it's a lot of work, but I'm just happy to be out there supporting the team and, uh, you know, making the guys feel comfortable out there. Well, we're all proud of you, and keep it up. I, we're in Ottawa, and I got booed here at the start here, but that's all right. Keep well, up. you got him to announce Coach of the Year of the Boston Bruins. Yeah, that's, that's right. Wrong thing to announce in the Ottawa, the nation's capital. Well, Nazem, that's uh, you know, Don, there's uh, only a couple of Leafs have ever had hat tricks before they were 23 years old, although Alex Steen uh, was one of the guys that uh, grew up in the area, and he got a hat trick. But two of them now for uh, Nazem, just incredible. You're sixth in the NHL in scoring. Colton Orr, can't say enough about you coming back, and Fraser... Uh, Congrats. Just Thank really you. impressive, yeah. Thanks, guys. Don was looking forward to that all night. Yeah, yeah. I've been looking. But they're out the hall. I'm the only guy that went in the dressing room. Get out here. You know what this is like? This is like Dougie, Dougie Gilmore. Remember, in what Minnesota. does that mean? You're going to kiss Nazem? Yeah, well, I'm oh, right, all, right. all right. I don't We're hate it. I don't hate it. I like Dougie. Well done. All right, Leafs win 4 0, and we'll uh, continue on the way to Edmonton. By the way, the Red Deer Optimus Chiefs should congratulate them, beat Edmonton Southside for the provincial championship, fourth year in a row. 1 0, they won game five tonight. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in. Going to see the Oilers uh, and the Vancouver Canucks here shortly on Hockey Night in Canada. We'll All be right. back in just a moment. Razzle Matez.